Hey everyone, so today's topic is what makes an environment irresistible? So, I'm kind of new and I had to do some research on my own, so I found this really great um, website and it gave me like these seven responses for, uh, for this question. So the first one was, create a focal wall or space. So basically is find something that you want the kids' attention or what's the focus of maybe a theme that you're going to be talking about that day. So have some sort of prop or decoration. Um, definitely use color and light. Kids and teens, they love color and brightness and it's like it brings, um, it makes the environment just more welcoming and more homey. Um, and the next one is provide an extraordinary service. So what that means is like you want, it's like creating an environment where um, you know, most kids are already like, oh, I don't want to be here, I'm just here to, because my parents want me to, but no, we don't want to create that kind of environment. We want them to stay and be there. They want, we want them to feel like they should be there. Um, be organized. Um, so, you know how I said that we need a wall or focal point where you can have decoration? That's totally fine, but what if um, a parent comes in, they don't know where to register, um, and everything's just kind of here and there, like you want to be organized so the parents um, and so the parents are, or, are organized as well. They get all the documents they need, um, and kids are being signed up and you know not losing track of their days. Um, keep your space clean. It's definitely very important, especially, especially for me because I like my space clean and organized. And it also um, it also creates that welcoming. Like no one wants to come in a room that's messy, smelling, and popcorn here and there, no, no. Um, also create a wow factors, and, and you know, when you do like job interviews, like you want to give that first impression. Um, so, you know, make, make, maybe do a game or do, or do like a joke or something, be funny. And lastly, use a team. So the team, I mean, you can't, you can be a leader, but you, you definitely need a team to help you out. Um, and the team should be creative and fun and be helping you out, maybe helping you with registering or signing new kids. And that also will help with organization. So those are some great tips for creating a physical space that's irresistible. But ultimately it comes down to how we treat people and how we as a group of volunteers, of teens, of children, um, receive one another and how we're Christ to one another. So all of these things that Tanya was talking about are great ways to promote that, um, to get excited about the environment, um, to be excited about learning um, and growing closer to the Lord. Um, but ultimately, it's up to us to create the en environment being irresistible. Um, so make sure that we take that responsibility seriously each week and do our best to make it irresistible for everybody that walks through our doors.